Good evening, YouTubers. New time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another video. Well, today is a very special day because it's my seventh anniversary of my YouTube channel. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. My YouTube channel is now seven years old. Is that exciting or what? And to uh, celebrate my channel's seventh anniversary, I am going to show off my Paramount widescreen VHS collection. And um, I know it's a lot. Look at this, folks. Oh, yeah. I haven't done this Paramount VHS collection on my channel. But don't worry, this is not complete, but I'm going to show you guys my entire Paramount VHS collection later this year on my YouTube channel. So, this might take a couple parts to do this, so let's get things started. Let's start off with the Star Trek movie set from the 25th anniversary set. With the 1991 VHS of Star Trek The Motion Picture widescreen edition with William Shatner, the late Leonard Nimoy, also starring the late DeForest Kelly, James Doohan, George Takei, Major Barry, Walter Koenig, Nichelle Nichols, also has the late Persis Kambata and Stephen Collins as Decker. The film is from 1979. I also had the director's edition on DVD and a special on VHS but I'm going to show that in a minute. It says 1980 on the box, which is incorrect. It's 1979. It's Ready G, and it's 132 minutes. I also had the special longer version on VHS as well. And I also had the director's cut on, and on DVD and the theatrical cut on DVD as well, and on Blu-ray. Next up... Also a 1991 VHS of Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. This is the widescreen edition. With William Shatner once again and the late Leonard Nimoy. Also starring the late DeForest Kelly, the late James Doohan. Walter Koenig, George Takei, Nichelle Nichols. It also has the late B.B. Bish. The late Merritt Budrick, the late Paul Winfield. Also starring... It, it introduced, excuse me, Kirstie Alley as Savick and co-starring Ricardo Montalban as Khan. The film is from 1982. I also have the director's, ser the director's edition on DVD and Blu-ray and a theatrical cut as well. Ready PG and it's 113 minutes. This tape is also still unsealed. Next up, also the 1991 VHS of Star Trek III The Search for Spock, widescreen edition, with William Shatner, the late Leonard Nimoy, the late DeForest Kelly, co-starring James Doohan, George Takei, Walter Koenig, Nichelle Nichols, Mary Budrick, and Christopher Lloyd, and it also have Robin Curtis is in there. The film is from 1984. It's directed by Leonard Nimoy. And it's rated PG and it's 105 minutes. Oh, forgot to mention, Star Trek The Motion Picture is directed by Robert Wise. And Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan is directed by Nicholas Meyer. This one is directed by Leonard Nimoy. Next up, the 1991 VHS of Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, widescreen edition. With William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy. DeForest Kelly, co-starring James Doohan, George Takei, Walter Koenig, Nichelle Nichols, and Katherine Hicks. The film is from 1986, and even also has Mark Leonard, Jane Wyatt, and Brock Peters is in there. I also have this on DVD as well and Blu-ray, but I also have the director series too, but I'm going to show that in a minute. Rated PG is 119 minutes. Next up, the 1991 VHS of Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, widescreen edition. 
with William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, co-starring James Doohan, Walter Koenig, Nichelle Nichols, George Takei, David Warner, and Lawrence Luckinbill. The film's from 1989 and directed by William Shatner. I also have this movie on DVD and Blu-ray as well. Rated PG in its 117 minutes. And Star Trek IV is directed by Leonard Nimoy himself. And next up, the 1992 VHS of Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, widescreen edition. This is a special home video version. With William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, co-starring James Doohan, Walter Koenig, Nichelle Nichols, George Takei, Kim Control, David Warner, and Christopher Plummer. The film is from 1991. It also has Michael Dorn and Eman, supermodel. Directed by Nicholas Meyer, rated PG in its 113 minutes. I also have the special longer version on DVD and also the theatrical cut on DVD and Blu-ray. Now, Star Trek VI, the letterboxing was in 195.1. But on the DVD, they corrected it in a, a shot on 30, Super 35 uh, Panavision. Here's Star Trek IV, the, the Voyage Home from the Paramount Director Series. With Leonard Nimoy. Rated PG. It's 136 minutes. But the ten minute the director series is ten minutes. I mean twenty minutes. Here's the sticker label, the end label, and the print date is March 9th, nineteen ninety-two. And it's printed on the uh the forty-first week of nineteen ninety-two. Says this copy has a print date. We all know what this tape has at the end. Next up, also a 1992 VHS of Fatal Attraction with Michael Douglas, Glenn Close, also starring Ann Archer. The film is from 1987, directed by Adrian Lyon. And this is rated R and it's 159 minutes. Here's Adrian Lyon. But it's, it has the, the controversial alt original ending. Here's the sticker label, the end label. The 50th week of 1992. And I forgot to mention, Star Trek 1 through 5 has the Star Trek 6 teaser trailer, and Star Trek 6 has no previews. Star Trek 4 and Fatal Attraction both have the, the director series trailer at the beginning. Next up, the 1996 VHS of Star Trek Generation with Patrick Stewart. Jonathan Frakes, co-starring Brent Spiner, LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, Marita Sirtis, Malcolm McDowell, James Doohan, Walter Koenig, and William Shatner. The film is from 1994. And this movie is 25 years old. Brady PG and it's 117 minutes. A smashing, entertaining mix of outer space adventure. Here's the sticker label, end label, printed on the fifth week of 1996. And next up, the 1996 VHS of Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise, also starring John Voight, Emmanuel Burt, I mean B. Hart, excuse me, Henry Krizanri, John Renault. 
Ving Rhames, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Vanessa Ray Graves. The film is from 1996. Ready PG-13, and it's 110 minutes. Here's the sticker label and label. The 45th week of 1996. I want to show you one more tape before we start stop this video. Here's the 1996 VHS of The Hunt for Red October with Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, also starring Scott Glenn, James Earl Jones, and Sam Neill. The film is from 1990, and it also has Jeffrey Jones. Rated PG, and it's 135 minutes. Here's the sticker label and label. The 37th week of 1996. Alright, that's it. We're going to pick up for part two, so we'll be right back.